up next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Leon Edwards. title fight in other divisions certainly doesn't at 170 pounds, but now with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion, and he believes without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 170 in the world, and he is out to prove it right here, right now. Defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers, he has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. tape for this welterweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these 
big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Back mount now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. Nice hammer fist. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Usman gets caught with that punch. Seconds now to go in this one. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Under a minute now to go on the round. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, and he's back up again. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Right, here we go, next round is underway. Thought we might see a finish in the previous round. Had a submission attempt, but was unable to finish the fight. Wasn't able to finish the fight. Credit to his opponent having really, really good submission defense. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed to perfection tonight. It never works out perfectly, but today, it seems to be going as great as it can be. I know the takedowns don't look beautiful. They don't look perfect, but it doesn't matter. He's a submission guy. All he needs to do is get you to the ground. Right. So even if it looks a little bit bad being there, he is accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's to make you grapple with him. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Kamoru. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, you know he's not done yet, but the numbers to this point, 62 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And landing with 69% accuracy against Leon Edwards. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the staff guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt in the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedown. And he's out. 
90 seconds to go. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Now under a minute to go in the second round. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here, looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finisher position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to the corner. Oh man, that was slick. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound sequence. All right, here we go with our next round, and thankfully for his opponent, it begins on the feet because his face was turning into mince meat with that ground and pound in the previous round. Oh, he got demolished, man. It was punches, it was elbows, it was transition into the elbows. I mean, he was so he had so much more knowledge in this area that although his opponent is a great ground fighter, jiu-jitsu goes out the window when you're getting punched in the face, and there was no better example of it than what we just saw in the previous round. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Well, the numbers continue to pile up, 74 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And in terms of the connection rate, if you care, 71% accuracy thus far against Leon Edwards. Able to land with the left hand there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure. All right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's Ohio will give you. Bottom fighter trying to control. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, single collar tie here. And now he's got that tie clinch. The hip toss we'll as he takes it down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Seconds now remain in the round. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Straight right, he misses. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here. You get up. Down as another kick down the kick lane. 30 seconds to go. Big hook. Nice punch by Usman. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. What a round. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. I need another one just like that. You won that one. 
All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15 minute fight, also mentally, to make sure that you're ready to go the extra 10 minutes. Oh, beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards, and if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're gonna start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this division. Absolutely, and the reason you don't know him is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. He used to be at AK for months, and he barely knew that Rocky was even there. He was just there to get his work in, as he's doing his work now inside the octagon. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, wow, oh! There it is. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow! Down into his mouth. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to the feet now. Well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good getup, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling that he will continue to attack him over and over again. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Us. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Edwards. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. A strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Usman. Twenty seconds to go. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep! No more, no more, no more, no more. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Switching stances here. from Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. 
Nice double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC, you gotta be careful. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Edwards' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, side control now, we'll see if he can advance position. Usman's right back to the full mount. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, but that is it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. He's done, he's done. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by no! And still, the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Ushma. All right, so he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champion. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 170 pounds, and he proved that tonight.